this is the first episode of Flick Debates, which is a a series of videos which goes which gets people arguing about different questions and topics on related to movies. Um, the first episode will have four questions and a tiebreaker. I will be invigilating the first question. Fred will be invigilating the second. Ned the third, and Elwood the fourth. Um, right, let's start. So, question one is, what is the best performance by Christian Bale in a movie? Fred, would you like to start? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to start with his first ever film when he was tw 12 years old, which is Empire of the Sun. And I think in that, it is a stunning performance from a 12-year-old actor who really, he really grasps the uh, character and he plays it with absolute precision and as it's his first film it kind of kick starts his whole career as um and then people take him seriously as an actor and he's truly incredible um good thanks for the introduction Elwood uh I'm gonna go for Batman Begins I think it was um it's a very good movie it 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 uh, it was the start of the trilogy, one of the best, probably the best trilogy DC have ever done. Probably one of the best, three best movies DC have ever done as well, I, in my opinion. Uh, he was great. 1.08, he's got a pretty shocking Batman voice. I'm Batman. That's, put that aside. Oh, Otherwise, like his performance here, yeah, not the movie itself. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. His performance is his voice. Yeah, his, and, and, um, uh, he was he was so he was a really good Batman. He was a very good playboy. He took the role very seriously, and uh, that's the reason why I thought he was that was one of his best performances. Okay, thanks for the introduction, Ned. After you're done, we will you guys will start arguing for about a couple of minutes, and then I'll decide who wins. Um, I'm going for Kristen Bell's American Psycho, in mm. which he was the leading role. Um, he plays a physically tortured character who was learning to adapt to having a mental problem. Uh, he displays a different side to it that we haven't seen before in the Batman Begins or Empire of the Sun. Well, have you seen Empire of the Sun? No. <laughs> okay, how about we just go, keep going, keep going. Okay. That, that's it? That's right, start arguing, guys. Okay, right, I think it's Empire of the Sun. It's his first movie, okay, and it really um, pegs him down as a brilliant actor. And he's only 12 years old, and he's already produced, he's already got, he's already been in a film where he stars as the lead role. Okay, and... No. Do you want to get off the phone and hit? No. Okay. Okay, and so, mate, you just can't disagree that having a good um, first movie like this, especially when he's 12 years old, it is definitely his best performance ever. Elwood, anything to well, say about that, Ned? In rebuttal, fair. I'd like to say 12-year-olds can't act. Well, you haven't seen I'm the sure film, all seen Jurassic so you World. cannot yeah. judge him on that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we cut that bit <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, okay. Oh, anyone, anything to say? Uh, I'm sorry, but he, he, was, he was such a good Batman. He played the, the vigilante. Yeah, but he wouldn't have become Batman if he didn't do this. Mm. Oh, that's, that's a good point. point. That's a very good point. But, uh, okay. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give yeah. round one winner. No, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Um, you want to say anything gonna, Well, I'd like to say that um, Patrick Bateman, mm -hmm. one of the best characters ever, I know he's one of your personal favourites. Well, he's, he, he is, he he is the, logo the logo on my channel for, for a reason. He is an absolute icon, and, you know, he's only an icon because of this movie. Have we all seen Hip to be Square, made famous by a Okay, right. The winner is Freddy. I'll give him one point. One point. But, but, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a cheeky give Ned one also one point because he brought up Patrick Bateman's iconic character and Hip to Be Square, which I think we can all say is a very good song. Yeah, so um yeah, um one point to Fred and one point to Ned. Hardest villain in a movie to kill. And this, this has to be the super the um, guy has to be dead. They have to be dead. They have to be dead, and they're not in a superhero movie. Okay, I got it. I'm going to go first. Okay. T-1000. Oh, good choice, good choice. I mean, okay. it's, he was super hard to kill. Like, it literally, it took the whole movie to kill him. He's super good. Like, well, not good. Do you want to explain sense. to the people watching who may not know what this is? Yeah, what the T-1000 actually is. Well, the T-1000 is, is like, well, it's Terminator yes, 2. Yes, okay. 
And um, um, the T-1000 is pretty much a cyborg, like a metal cyborg guy, and he pretty much withstands every attack that the main characters, like Terminator and uh, and all the other main characters, f attack him with. He, like, he takes a shotgun bullet to the head, and that just deforms him, and it also grows back, but he also can change his um, appearance, like he was a policeman, then he was a woman, and stuff like that. So that's why I think T-1000 is the Thank best hardest hard villain to kill. For those who have not seen Harry Potter, just just go away, <laughs> just leave now, just leave now. Because I feel that Voldemort is the hardest villain to kill. He rose up three times. Worst at school, he attacked and killed two students. Second, in his teen years, just after he left school, his first appearance as Lord Voldemort. He survived because he had split his soul seven times. That's seven times, people. <laughs> seven things you've got to kill. One, one accidentally. Yes, one accidentally. Um, and he, he rose up second time. He took over the whole of Britain before he was eventually stopped by Albus Dumbledore, who he then kills. Well, he, well, like he gets him. people to kill him. And he, wasn't, then, he wasn't great because he doesn't do anything himself. He's not the, really the invigilator doesn't argue. Yeah, the invigilator doesn't argue. Yeah, we can edit that Just edit that bit out. Just leave that bit out. And then... um. And then he rose up a third time, takes over the Ministry of Magic, which nobody else has ever done. Um, and, you know, he's just an all-round, he's a nice guy, you know. <laughs> Properly good. Elder Wand owns two of the three Deathly Hallows, which is a good Harry Potter. And then he kills so many people. He's, he's killed over a thousand people. That's, that's easily. Yeah. Yeah. Over. Yeah. More than one. One every seven weeks. That's more than people get their hair cut. Okay. Deadpool reference. <laughs> and, then, and then, um, you know, raises up a third time. Unfortunately, he is stopped by Harry Potter, but that is only because he is part of Voldemort himself. That's yes. why I believe Voldemort is the best. Panama, please. My Jewish. choice okay, carry on. is my other choice yes. would be Predator. The Predator. Predator. Now, the Predator. Like right, the Predator is just a character. Okay, like a couple of people go in the wood. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the biggest action hero of all time, is scared shitless by the Predator. Is acting scared shitless. The Predator can become invisible, can shoot stuff out of his like shoulder laser yeah. thing, right? He he looks he just looks cool. He's just like, right. It's Voldemort is Pardon. a bold freak without a nose. The Predator is a badass alien. Panel. Yes. We're not deciding how badass they are. Yes. How easy that, that, they can kill about their how enemies. Mm -hmm. We're saying how easy. Yes, yes. That, that's what I'm about to get to. It. Okay. The Predator. Stick to, was, stick to that. Line Arnold Schwarzenegger answer. went into a forest with what, like 10, 20 people. They all died. Every single one of them died. They tried to kill the Predator, but no, because he's just. He never dies. This guy is not going to go anywhere. They made like what is three or four crappy movies with him, and then obviously they made a good one with him later on, but. Even his franchise stayed. Okay, that shows that everyone loves the Predator, and that Pardon, the only reason else? he dies is Arnold Schwarzenegger suicide bomb. The, the like, the good guy of the story, the like the main character suicide bomb himself Pardon. to kill the Predator. Ned, Ned, how old will, is will the Predator he... when he dies? I I don't know, Ned. I know he's fifteen. That's the same age we are now. Why did he die at fifty? That's not long enough. Voldemort was a hundred and fifteen. <laughs> he survived for a hundred more years than Predator. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. <laughs> After people trying to kill him, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, I think we've um, had a debate. Yes, your yes, I am, um, over much deliberation and thought, I have decided to award Ned a point for his oh. incredible arguing. You know Ned forgot to but mention a point. They made an entire movie about how vo how hard Voldemort is to kill. If I, I if I chose if I had Voldemort, I would have said that. Yes, that. but his his An entire movie. was more full than mm. yours. But I did like your point. Your points about um, him. although he isn't very old when he dies. He's not fifty. No, okay, fair enough. But it does it does take a while for the good guys. Quickest, <laughs> quickest. Yeah, sorry, yeah, exactly. kill him. <laughs> okay, so Pano, I'm gonna award you at least. Half points don't Half count. Points. Half count. points don't count.